I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to the Aquatic Adventure of the Last Human. Um, I apparently missed something, but first, since I'm at the main menu anyway, uh, let's go to the extras menu. I guess there's also Hardcore and Boss Rush. I'm not sure that was unlocked at the very beginning. Um, so yeah, this has, it's sort of a best area for the <coughs> bosses only. Let's see how the worm, tunnel. I love when games have just a little, even just a little teeny bit of extra lore about all of the uh, enemies and stuff. Yes, you know I started recording. Apparently the experiment was supposed to have a drone part, I just missed it somehow. I thought I combed that room pretty carefully, but whatever. These things. Let's just take a quick peek at the uh, vestiary here. I guess on the plus side, I did actually manage to find a very few number of upgrades that I missed. There's still five I'm missing, and I'm not sure how many are beyond the point I've already got to. These are some very deep thinking seahorses, you know that? They're, they're so smart, they're self-destructive. Parker, please. Get, get, just sit on your perch. Just, just, there you go. Poor Tranquil. And I noticed uh, on a revisit, the, the Tranquil's area is super happy and nice. And like, there's so much growth and stuff, even for the middle of the seaweed forest and stuff. It's better to think of it as a killer. We'll all sleep better with a monster dead than a guardian betrayed. Anyway, forgotten. No, Parky. Parky, please. Try to read here. <laughs> I just noticed the bobblehead at the bottom there. Well, I'll just leave these up here for a bit, and you can pause if you want to uh, read them. Chain gang party. Is this a poem? Doesn't rhyme, but still. How dare you make me read a poem? The Defy there. What is that? Oh, yeah, that's the. Did it look like that? But yeah, that's the. Sure. I didn't like that boss fight too much either. Oh, tell me about Lamb. I suppose it's better facing Godzilla. And there's one more. There's one more we didn't see here. I guess it's probably the final boss itself. So this is the experiment. Like I said, you can pause if you want to read them. I'll just show this last one here quick. I don't want to waste too much time here. All right. Oh, and I asked the developer, that's why I know where I need to go. Um, so, thank you to the developer. There's, so there's one in the heart and one in the experiment. I figured there had to be something for beating the experiment. Whatever. Ugh. Oh, and one other thing. I noticed the, the face buttons switch your weapon, like, um, X is harpoon, Y is saw, uh, B is torpedo if you're on a 360 controller. And of course, whatever equivalent buttons on the PlayStation or whatever controller you happen to have. So, <laughs> I went through like two laps. I'm not sure how I managed to miss whatever is in here. But I'm told, it, I, I'm told it's on the right. So we're going to get our second drone piece and continue on to the end, I guess. That's weird. Didn't that used to have an opening thing on the on the left, too? Maybe that's only for the boss fight? Zooming out for some reason. Oh, for fu- I guess that's why I missed that. So yeah, the drone is fully upgraded now. Second part of the drone. Excellent. 
unknown function, but yeah, we know we know where to use it. Interesting that the second gate disappears, or the second lever, whatever gate operating device. So yeah, should be in pretty good shape to finish the game, I think. One more boss, seem to have all the major upgrades. Only missing five minor upgrades. I'm not sure how many will be in the upcoming areas. Uh, according to the map, we might. I, I wonder if the map like includes locations, so it's like a super late game item, or if it's just hidden somewhere that I happen to miss. And the drone is not in the face button um, rotation since you know. Oh no! I guess it's dead anyway. What else? Whoa! a weird way to open. Giant server room. Very water resistant server, I might note. I'm pretty sure the server room at work wouldn't uh, hold up quite that well. Not quite. Oh, and a good way to find secrets is just blast walls with this thing. Um, the rocket will go through if there's a thing. And sometimes you actually need to blast open walls. What are you? Oh, you're an octopus. Aw, poor buddy. Whoa, what are you? Oh, hello. Excuse me. I wouldn't recommend keeping the giant clams here. These guys are jerks. Eh? Oh, good. We've got the obligatory late game obstacle. Oh my god. Please tell me there's a checkpoint. And okay, good. It's about to flip out. Alright. No sightseeing this time. Just go up the... Yeah, that's actually safer. It's actually way safer. Alright. Okay. Increased growth in all flora and fauna post experience. Oh, they did this, Parky. That would I guess that explains the giant thingies. Make sure Osiris is operational for Osiris plan shows former glory. Okay. That's what... Ah! Map upgraded. Upgrades and saves locations are now visible on the Oh nice. Nice. Okay then. That would explain why we didn't see the map upgrade. It's that important. I guess now finding the last few will be easy. I I kinda like that idea. I um I rather liked uh Metroid Fusion gives you hints. It doesn't give you quite this good of a map. Well actually I'm not sure how good of a map this is, because I haven't seen it in action yet. But um, it lets you know when there's upgrades in a room that you've entered. There's still hidden rooms, even after... Does Fusion do map rooms? I know most Metroid games do. But I mean, there's hidden areas that aren't even on map rooms, if there are map rooms in that game. Um, and there's also... Um, Parky, don't! That's my water! Um, but there's also... It tells you how many, like, X out of Y bomb upgrades and stuff. Oh! Facility Defense Drone, the Guardian. Okay, where is it? Oh! 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 You, you got... Okay. Okay. Aw, oh, come on. If you'd leave me a little closer than that. I think there was the design... Well, not philosophy, but, you know... There was the design decision that as long as there's a save point close enough... It, they didn't need to do a checkpoint in the boss room. I, I kind of disagree. Just leave me in the boss room where I can trigger the fight within, you know, a few seconds. The the clam. I hated that fight, but um, that was a properly placed um, save thingy. Where is it? Oh, hello. Ow. How do I hurt you? Holy crap, what the f- What? I have the distinct feeling I'm gonna hate this boss. Don't tell me my drone does something. <sighs> and I have to open the stupid door too. I guess it's to lock me in, but still. Alright. Let's try missiles. 
No, you're out there. Maybe I have to trick him to go through the things. I know you're here, boss. Do I have to approach the door even closer? Yes, I do. Oh god, what? Oh god, it goes through door- <laughs> Okay, you cannot electrocute it. What do I do then? <laughs> what do I do? Did it stop? Did it- Has little babby drones. Okay. I don't understand. I don't seem to be doing damage. Can I saw the bits off? No? Can't saw the bits off. I guess rockets? Try rockets? I hear did I heard it? I think I heard it. Okay, you gotta rocket the head. Okay. Reasonable. Oh god. No! 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 Bad! Bad video game, no! How dare you corner me? Okay. Do not be liberal with your. Be very conservative with your thrusts. You gotta. You gotta be gentle with your thrusts now. Okay, just thrust like crazy. I'll get you in trouble. Okay. Just a very careful boss fight, and you gotta pinpoint his head with the rockets. Okay. Not too bad. I still object to the good enough save point. I still think this deserves a proper checkpoint. Oh god. Okay. Okay, not too bad. This is not a screamy rage quit boss fight like the stupid Heart of the City and stuff. I like this boss. This is a good. <laughs> In general, like, I don't want people to think I absolutely hate this game because of, you know, the bosses I've been very mad at. Um, and there's more good than bad, and it's like, some of these bosses are pretty dang good, like this one. Um, it's just that when this game does get frustrating, it's just so frustrating. Are these all homing? Is that late? No, I think they just have random trajectories. Oh god. I, I do kind of take offense to the contact damage from the arms, but once you know once you know that's a factor, it's easy enough to get away, I guess. You just gotta know to- uh, oh god. Oh god. Um, conserve your thruster stuff! Ah, Jesus. Okay. I like that it flies away, because that once it's cornered you, you're in real trouble, but as long as you hit its head, it flees. And then you can be okay for a bit. So you just gotta fight smart. Why, why can't my drone do this? My drone sucks. That can't have been the final boss. Right? Unless there's more forms or something. This feels bossy. Yep, I know it. It's got a second form. It's definitely the final boss then. Okay. Please tell me there's a checkpoint for this one too. Like a real checkpoint this time. What is this? What? Okay. Hey, whoa, 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 what was that? Okay, this one has a real checkpoint. Alright. Drones are way better than mine. It's not fair at all. I saw the thing. No. What is this? What is this? I have no idea what's going on. I, 
I heard it. Okay. Not sure what constitutes hurting it versus not hurting it. Like 90% of the time, my hits don't seem to hurt. But after that laser, I seem to have been able to get a hit. I'm not sure what causes it to uh, do the thing with the chainsaws that just murders me. I'm not sure if that's avoidable or... Oh god. Oh no. Do the laser thing and then I hit you? Is this how this works? Yes, that's how this works. Okay. Okay, you just hit it after the laser. It's gonna be spawning drones the whole fight now, isn't it? Drone drones. We just got so many layers of drones. We got the little drone inside the bigger drone. It's making considerably smaller drones than the first drone. Uh oh. Okay, I'm glad we don't have to do the full cycle every time. Okay, go to the laser part. I guess it's getting more complex because it's- oh, it's adding the trash now, too. The laser doesn't seem very fear-worthy, honestly. Oh god, now it's electrified. Okay. Maybe it's get. I guess it's gonna get more fear-worthy as we go on. You just gotta stay out of the range of the chainsaw arms, I guess. They're not- They got trapped before, but you just don't have to be that close. You can't be that close or you die. Alright, so... Ugh. Need to remember those quick buttons. I wish I had been using them the whole game, because I'm not used to them, and now I'm going to be, like, tripping myself up as I try to use them. I'm so glad that health matters in this fight. If this was one of the instant kill bosses, I would be so, so very mad. I guess maybe there's some thought into which bosses are murdery and which bosses are sane um, in terms of damage. Because this boss with the instant kill some of the other enemies or bosses had. Um, never mind. Oh my god. Why is that there? Just one more cycle, and it's not even. Oh my god. It just does that dance if you're too close. So, like, the only danger in the entire fight is forgetting that shock wall is up there, and that it's instant kill. Well, I guess it was dropping trash the whole time. You? Oh. Ugh. I was using the harpoons. Ugh, stupid trash. Ugh. I'm not even sure what my goal is. That's the one the weird thing about this game. I'm just kind of going around and screwing around, because I mean everybody's dead. I'm kind of finding out what happened, but my reason for progression isn't very clear. I'm just kind of doing stuff. But I mean, if I'm the last human, I mean, I guess we can just kind of do what I want. Doesn't really matter too much. I like that it kills its buddy with the laser. Okay, we're halfway back. I guess this one's more dangerous gave it credit for because of the fucking god damn it. Uh, the top one is the only actually dangerous one because of the stupid instant kill crap. Just sit here and tank hits, honestly. Oh. 
can't because of that. I honestly think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sit over there and pretty much tank the hits because the chainsaws aren't working. I guess it only does the chainsaw dance or spams bullets. It doesn't really do both at once too much. That's good. A little saw blade. I like that the music cuts out so you can hear the, the beam charging up. It's a very important audio son of- what, what hit me? What bumped me down into the laser? Okay, what, where are those lasers? Oh. You. You die now. Okay. Are we done here? Are we done? Come on. That's enough of that one. I don't like that one. We just not say we did. Those things really hurt. Okay. Fuck. God damn it. <sighs> okay, there's certain positions you have to sit for each of the things to be safe. You gotta be as low as possible for the one on the left. So I guess this is safe if a little restricted in terms of your movement. Oh, I was one freaking hit away before the dance. I'm not super mad at this boss, unlike the heart of the city. Because this is all saying, what? Why was I stuck? Okay, maybe I should take back that same comment. But I mean, this is all stuff that you can learn to dodge. This heart of the city was just kind of random crap happening. Close. No, no. I don't. Okay. So it's hurt a bit more than I was giving them credit for. Stop that. Right. Be done. Be, can I go? Can I go home now? I hope this guy doesn't have a third form. This is this is plenty of forms. Two, two is enough forms. Mother brain only had two forms. Get dark at me. Okay. Ah, it's trash. So that is instant death too. Okay. I guess there is a lot of instant death in this fight after all. Did was that there the whole time, or did it like spawn there? Because I, I don't think I was that unaware, but maybe I was. Be 
aware of it this time. I like the structure of this fight, even if I don't like the actual one-hit kills. Can you? It kind of looked like the tube on one of those chainsaw things was damaged. I wonder if I can cut it off. Maybe not. You can! Okay, I'm not sure why it got damaged in the first place, but maybe it's just from damaging the main thing? I don't know. That's cool, though. I like when you can cut bits off of bosses like that. Too fast now that you're electrified. So we only have two or one chainsaw arm left. This one isn't damaged. Okay, there's two. Neither are damaged. I don't think I can... I think those just naturally become damaged as the uh, fight progresses. Or like, as you do damage to the uh, other stuff like the main body because I don't I don't seem to be able to hit the chainsaw stuff directly. Okay, would you please do the big laser? There's two more big lasers, I think. Okay. Drones are spawning so fast now. Off oh, at this point. Uh, I'm not sure how much of this video is, is possible. Right I guess it, it must be the, the good majority of it, though. Oh! I think the bombs... The torpedoes do damage the thing. Oh, god. Okay. Yeah, so I can make this fight easier on myself than it has been. Big things, but oh, man, no. I shouldn't have second guessed if I hadn't second guessed myself, I think I would have been fine. Because I second guessed that maybe I haven't waited long enough and I had. Are you come on? The saw is terrible. It even- it let me saw it off, but I took damage from bumping into the thing anyway. It's like, the saw only works right when they- when the things are vertical, when they're even slightly... diagonal. Don't- don't even. Okay. Oh. I had the wrong thing! Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm getting too focused on destroying the chainsaws. Let's just let's get it out of the way immediately so I stop taking damage. Frickin' go! Okay. Now that I know how to switch from thing to Is 
this is a pretty annoying one. Oh, for fuck! I absolutely despise inertia. I was, like, almost completely stopped, and then I, my inertia moved me one pixel, and then that bumped me 18 billion feet per second. Directly instant, instant death. It's great. Excuse me! You were supposed to be sawed way earlier. Whatever. I wish you could destroy the la the saw. The, um, not the chainsaws. The circular saw. I really should tease it high and then evade low. That would be the smart thing to do. I never said I was smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really doubt you can saw through big arms too. But, uh, I don't know what you to do with my dead cycles here. Okay. Okay. Thought I was gonna fire a little earlier. I still don't have the audio cue perfectly down. Not all of its chainsaw arms. So. I wonder if I can blow up that saw. I, I, I guess all it's left to do is shoot down the drones and fires. Whoa! Whoa! Maybe I'm glad I got that. Oh, damn it. Pull speed upgrade after all. Full heal speed. Repair. Yeah, repair upgrade. Let's, let's go build all that. Okay, would you? Okay. I gotta bait it high. Okay. You don't let yourself jiggle around. Gotta avoid the jiggle physics. Alright. Come on. Honestly, it's a pretty solid fight. I just kinda want it all over at this point. Uh, I don't have any major complaints about this boss fight. It's fine to die to a few times with loss. That's, that's what they're for. As stupid as they were, the mistakes that were made were mistakes, and you know. more. This one feels so much less dangerous without the chainsaw arms. I'm so glad I noticed that you could hurt those. Excuse me. I think those just eventually die. I... My right index finger hurts so much now. I, I should have mapped the attack button to something other than the trigger. I hate spamming a trigger like this. Yeah, they definitely just explode eventually, which is nice. Seems the saw doesn't want to go in here, which is, which is fine. Fine, we're fine, you're dead. Oh my god. Why do you still have health? <sighs> okay. The guardian is dead. What is with the beeping? What is with the EKG? Was it all a dream? 
Okay. It wasn't all a dream. I was gonna get mad if we woke up in a hospital bed and this was all a dream or some shit. So we're at the end of the facility. I'm not really sure what the expected end game of this. I'm not sure what to expect. Please don't be a third boss. Oh no. Aww. It's a shrimp fetus. Hello. I watched as you ripped through a peaceful life, destroyed homes and ecosystems. Yeah, that's... In my defense, those fish were dicks. And they were not, those were not peaceful. Unless you mean the prior humans. Do you have to have to bend? Humans created me to control MC. Oh, it's the standard AI hates humans. These were dick bags and decides to be an even bigger dick bag. Blah, blah, blah. Beauty. Yep, you gotta kill the human. Whatever, shrimp fetus. Nobody asked you to create balance. <laughs> I didn't fire that, by the way. Whatever, shrimp fetus. shrimp fetus. Once again, I just pressed the confirm button. I didn't. Bye bye shrimp fetus. Now the screen fades to black because there's nothing left or something probably. Boop. What's with that sideways computer on the I thought it was out of... I was pressing the button just to see if it was still working. But, oh, okay. We had a checkpoint, so it's fine. Every Metroidvania has to have the escape sequence, of course. You can see which things are going to fall down because of the map. Yeah. Pardon? Oh! Hello. Excuse me? Ah! There you are. Pardon me? Just going to leave? Just going to... Ground is stationary, but it still hurts a little bit. Oh. This is obviously the way we have to go, because it's on the map and it wasn't there before. So we just gotta wait. A pile of tech gore over there. Oh, yep, it's gonna fall in and smash on the floor. There you go. Oops. Excuse me. Just gonna slip in here. Okie dokie. Ending sequence? I lost control of my ship. It's a good sign for an ending sequence. Hey, fishy! Fishies! Friends. Happy friend, fish. Bonk. Let's see. I guess that's the end of the aquatic adventure of the last human. He's just gonna, just gonna chill. I die? E I die? Eddie? I don't know what that little sign there is supposed to mean. Oh, the ship turns green. Yeah, he just he just is gonna sit there and run away. 
If you didn't notice, the ship turned all green, so yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> no pants required. That's all I got out of. Oh, these are backers from Kickstarter, right? I wasn't paying attention for a second there. I guess what this was on Kickstarter, I didn't, um, I found that out just Googling for, uh, just Googling for info about it. The one unfortunate aspect of having a ton of supporters is very long credit sequence and I speed up. Can't skip either. Well, we'll just let it go by in case there's something after the credits. Oh, there we go. Oh, special thanks. La -da -doo -doo -doo. Thanks for playing. And the rest is lost. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see the achievement pop up. We got a Chivo for, you know, destroying the last record of human civilization. Um, so yeah, I guess now we have Boss Rush. Oh. We have Boss Rush, not Hardcore. Let's take a very quick look at Boss Rush. Hull repair. Sure. Alright, so I guess you pick an upgrade and you... Oh, right back. Alright. And it's just boss by boss. I'm not going to do the boss rush, but yeah, neat little inclusion. So yeah, that is the Aquatic Adventure of the Last Human. Um, I guess, honestly, the ending is kind of, I didn't expect, you know, giant shrimp fetus, but um, I did kind of expect, you know, the whole ends with the focus on loss and all of that stuff. I guess I may as well kill this worm real quick. He's, he seems to be going down faster than, wait, no, I guess I got him pretty quick. So I figured out how the heck to play. The main issue of this boss is just avoiding the thing where he spawns a ton of stuff as well. Yeah, I definitely recall him dying. I'm going to have to figure that out. How are you alive, sir? How? Aww. Oh. Well then. Oh, you get retries. Interesting. But it still goes. It still counts your time up. So let's. Yes. Same thing as hardcore. Oh, I guess it is unlocked. I don't need to be hardcore though. I is that that's probably like. Wait, if that's per, if hardcore is permadeath, that'd be crazy. Like this game. Oh, I can't skip the intro cutscene. I don't care that much. Um, yeah, that is Aquatic Adventure: The Last Human. Thanks for watching.